हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल रीड चैप्टर नंबर फोर एग्रीकल्चर पार्ट थर्ड लेट्स स्टार्ट इट नीड्स वेल ड्रेन लोमी सॉइल एंड जेंटल स्लोप्स लेवर इन लार्ज लार्ज नंबर इज रिक्वायर्ड टू पिक द लीव्स कैनिया इंडिया चाइना श्रीलंका प्रोड्यूस द बेस्ट क्वालिटी टी इन द वर्ल्ड एग्रीकल्चरल डेवलपमेंट एग्रीकल्चरल डेवलपमेंट रेफर्स टू एफर्ट्स मेड टू इंक्रीज फार्म प्रोडक्शन in order to meet the growing demand of increasing populations this can be achieved in many ways such as increasing the crop area the number of crop grown improving irrigation facilities use of fertilizers and high yielding varieties of seeds mechanization of agriculture is also another aspect of agriculture development the ultimate aim of agriculture development is to increase food security agriculture has developed at different places in different parts of the world developing countries with large populations usually practice intensive agriculture where crops are grown on small holdings mostly for subsistence large holdings are more suitable for commercial agriculture as in usa canada and australia with the help of two cases studies of farm one from india and the other from the usa let us understand about agriculture in the developing and developed country a farm in india there is a small village adilabad in gazipur district of uttar pradesh munna lal is a small farmer in this village who has farmland of about 1.5 hectares his house is in the main village he purchases high yielding varieties of sheets from the market every alternate year the land is fertile and he grows at least two crops in a year which are normally wheat or rice and pulses the farmer takes advice of his friends and elders as well as government agricultural officers regarding farming practices he takes a tractor on rent for plugging his field though some of his friends still use traditional methods of using bull locks for plugging There is a tube well in the nearby field which he takes on rent to irrigate his field. Munna Lal also has two buffaloes and few hens. He sells milk in the cooperative store located in the nearby town. He is a member of the cooperative society which also advises him on the type of food for his animals. Safety measures to protect the health of the livestock and artificial inseminations. All the members of the family help him in various farm activities. Sometimes he takes credit from a bank or the agricultural cooperative society to buy HYB sheets and implements. He sells his produce in the mandi located in the nearby town. Since majority of the farmer do not have lack storage facilities, they are forced to sell the produce even when the market is not favorable to them. In recent years the government has taken some steps to develop storage facilities a farm in the USA the average size of a farm in the USA is much larger than that of an indian farm a typical farm size in the USA is about 250 hectares the farmer generally reside in the farm some of the major crops grown are corn soybean wheat cotton and sugar beet Joe Horan a farmer in the Midwest USA in Iowa state owns about 300 hectares of land he grows corn on his field after making sure that soil and water sources meet the needs of this crop adequate measures are taken to control pests that can damage the crop from time to time he spent the soil samples to a soil testing laboratory to check whether the nutrients are sufficient or not the result helped joe horan to plan a scientific fertilizers program his computer is linked to the satellite which gives him a precise picture of his field this helps him to use chemical fertilizers and pesticides wherever they are required he uses tractors seed drills labor labeler combined harvester and threshers 
to perform various agricultural operations. Our grains are stored in the automated grain storage or dispatched to market agencies. The farmer in USA works like a businessman and not like a peasant farmer. Thank you.